ALS is three initials that stand for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. It is the most common motor neuron disease, and sadly, we don't have any treatment. Up until now, we know that there are about 25 mutations in humans that cause amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS. So he will be able to see this because it's prior to GFP, right? One of these mutations is located in a gene called C9 or 72 and is responsible for 50% of the inherited forms of ALS. This mutation in C9 or 72 is also linked to the, another neurodegenerative disorder that is named frontotemporal degeneration. C9 of 72 has a nucleotide repeat. Most individuals have 10 or maybe just a few more copies of this repeat. But if you have hundreds or thousands of these repeats, this mutant C9 of 72 can cause ALS or frontotemporal dementia or both. We believe in using a multidisciplinary approach. To study how these gene mutations cause ALS, we use three different models. We first start with a very simple invertebrate model, the nematode C. elegans, which has a, a very simple nervous system, but it is an ideal gene discovery tool. The beta sequence was transfected into uh, cells and uh, C. elegans, and we made a cellular and uh, in vivo model. By modeling ALS in C. elegans, we were able to identify a gene code uh, EIF2D. We are looking for ways to test our discoveries in a more complex uh, central nervous system of mice. We uh, inactivated uh, this EIF2D gene in mice using CRISPR-Cas uh, uh, method and then uh, expressed C9 or F72 gene in the central nervous system of these mice uh, using a V vector. Uh, so our initial results are very promising as we see improvement in uh, motor defects of these mice due to inactivation of this EIF2D gene. We are uh, now looking at or analyzing the central nervous system tissue of these mice, uh, looking for improvement in biochemical and pathological uh, ways. To our surprise, we found that our discoveries from C. elegans and mice, they are actually reproducible in human stem cell-derived motor neurons. The advantage using patient motor neurons is that the genetic mutation is present in its native molecular contact. And so we can study the effect of disease molecules or modifier genes in real human patient neurons. That offers a huge advantage over some other experimental systems. We are making progress together every day, every week, every month, and we are getting closer and closer to a potential therapy for this terrible disease. Using this multidisciplinary approach of three different systems, it's a viable approach and it's a promising approach to understand the disease and hopefully one day come up with a cure. The Center for Motor Neural Disease was established in 2022 thanks to a large donation by a philanthropist here at the Hyde Park neighborhood in Chicago. Our hope is that our support of the Center for Motor Neuron Disease will lead to outcomes related to enhanced prevention, potential treatments for ALS, the development of future motor neuron scientists through its outreach in Chicago area high schools and bringing in underrepresented audiences and future scientists to explore and learn more about both the research aspect and the prevention aspect of ALS research. Our goal is to bring hands-on experiments to local kids um, in the Southside schools surrounding U Chicago, and to be able to show these kids that you are a capable scientist. Even as a high schooler, there are experiments that you can perform. And with a few more years of training, you very well could be sitting next to me and studying these diseases. The era now is very much 
involving tools of molecular biology. And these tools are incredibly powerful and provide a way for us to knock down certain genes or modify certain genes in ways that nobody would have predicted 10 years ago. So it's a astonishing time that we live in with incredible, versatile, powerful tools.